eBay is an American multinational e-commerce corporation. The corporation was founded on September 3rd, 1995 by Pierre Omidyar and as Auction Web, but was changed to eBay in 1997, and to this very day, the company is still alive and healthy. So, how did it become so popular? Let's find out. 1990s. The Auction Web was founded in California on September 3rd, 1995, by French-born Iranian-American computer programmer Pierre Omidyar as part of a larger personal site. One of the first items sold on Auction Web was a broken laser pointer for $14.83. Astonished, Omidyar contacted the winning bidder to ask if he understood that the laser pointer was broken. The buyer explained, I'm a collector of broken laser pointers. It soon became the first online auction site allowing person-to-person -person transactions and its popularity boomed. Reportedly, eBay was simply a hobby for Ormidjar until his internet service provider informed him he would need to upgrade to a business account due to his high website traffic. The monthly price increase from $30 to $250 prompted him to start charging eBay users who did not object. Chris Agrapal was eBay's first additional employee to process mailed check payments. Jeffrey Skoll was hired as the first new president of the company in early 1996. In November 1996, the e-commerce platform entered into its first third-party licensing deal with a company called Electronic Travel Auction to use smart market technology to sell plane tickets and other travel products. Growth was phenomenal. From 250,000 auctions during all of 1996 to 200,000 in January 1997 alone, the company officially changed the name of its service from Auction Web to eBay in September 1997 after Echo Bay Technology Group, Omidyar's consulting firm. The domain name EchoBay.com was already taken by a gold mining company. So Amidyar shortened it to eBay.com. In 1997, the company received $6.7 million in funding from the venture capital firm Benchmark Capital. The frequently repeated story that eBay was founded to help Omidyar's fiancé trade Pez, Pez candy dispensers was fabricated in 1997 by public relations manager Mary Lou Song to give the media a human interest story more appealing than Omid Yar's original version of a perfect market. The Pez Dispenser myth generated enormous publicity and led to explosive early growth among toy collectors. The leader in the toy category quickly became Beanie Babies, manufactured by Thai Incorporated, the most difficult toys to find in retail stores. As collectors internationally were trying to complete their collection of Beanie Babies, Thai set up the first business to consumer website a secondary market online trading post where people could trade their Beanie Babies. However, it was overwhelmed with unsorta unsortable listings, curating an urgent demand for a more efficient online trading system. Beanie Babies quickly became the dominant product on eBay, accounting for 10% of all listings in 1997, as collectors thronged eBay's user-friendly interface to search for specific Beanie Babies. Meg Whitman was hired by the board uh, as eBay president and CEO in March 1998. At the time, the company had 30 employees, half a million users, and revenues of $4.7 million in the United States. On September 21st, 1998, eBay went public. In the risk factor section of the annual report filed with the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission in 1998, Omidyar notes eBay's dependence on the continued strength of the Beanie Babies market. After eBay went public, both Omidyar and Skoll became instant billionaires. eBay's target of $18 per share 
was all but ignored as the price went to $53.50 on the first day of trading, 2000s, as the company expanded product categories beyond collectibles into almost any saleable item, business quickly grew. In 2000, eBay had 12 million registered users and a cyber inventory of more than 4.5 million items on sale on any given day. In 2001, eBay had the largest user base of any e-commerce site. In February 2002, the company purchased iBazaar, a similar European auction, auction website founded in 1998, and then bought PayPal on October 3, 2002. By early 2008, the company had expanded worldwide, counting hundreds of millions of registered users, as well as 15,000 employees and revenues of almost $7.7 .7 billion. After nearly 10 years at eBay, Whitman decided to enter politics. On January 23, 2008, the company announced that Whitman would step down on March 31, 2008, and John Donahoe was selected to become president and CEO. Whitman remained on the board of directors and continued to advise Donahoe through 2008. In late 2009, eBay completed the sale of Skype for $2.75 billion, but still owned 30% equity in the company. 2010s. In 2012, eBay was charged by the United States Department of Justice with entering into non-solicitation agreements with other technology companies involving their highly skilled employees. On September 30th, 2014, eBay announced it would spin off PayPal into a separate publicity traded company, a demand made nine months prior by activist hedge fund Magne Carl Icahn. The spinoff completed on July 18th, 2015. eBay's then chief executive, John Donahoe, stepped down from that position, stepped down from that role. Flipkart and eBay entered into a strategic partnership in 2017 under which eBay Incorporated acquired a 5.44% stake in Flipkart in exchange for its eBay India business for $211 million and a $514 million cash investment. As part of the partnership, Flipkart decided to use the eBay's platform for global outsourcing. On January 31st, 2018, eBay announced that they would replace PayPal as its primary payments provider with Netherlands-based startup Audion. The transition was set to be completed by 2021, but PayPal would remain an acceptable payment option on the site until further notice. On September 21st, 2018, it was reported that eBay would install a security fence around the perimeter of its San Jose headquarters in response to the YouTube headquarters shooting earlier that year. On July 31st, 2019, the company acquired a 5.59% stake in Paytum Mall. On September 25th, 2019, it was announced that Devin Winage would be stepping down as eBay CEO and that Scott and that Scott Chennel, senior vice president and chief financial officer since 2015 had been appointed as in, as the interim CEO. On April 13, 2020, it was announced that Jamie Iannone would become the CEO on April 27th. On June 15, 2020, eBay clarified that Winage and five other employees were terminated in September after a law enforcement notification in August because of, uh, because of a possibly criminal case of harassment of journalists per perpetrated by some of the terminated employees. The six are charged with aggressive cyber stalking. And there is the history of eBay. How did it become so popular? Well, when the company became public, I have to say that it would probably be the reason when it became, I would have to say that it would be the time it became public. Because by the time it came public, it became like an instant, um, I guess you could say, an instant icon for basically everybody to notice. 
and ever since then eBay has been used by many people and there was also a Backstreet parody of I Want It That Way um, simply titled eBay and it's actually um, a pretty good um, song. I would actually recommend uh, listening to it if you ever get the chance to listen to it. Anyways, this is where I'm gonna end off today's video. If you guys have enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like. The, please make sure to hit the like button, and also don't forget to subscribe because I do videos every single day. And also don't forget to ring that notif notification bell so you never miss a single video that I upload. And also don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell on my second channel. My second channel will be the third link in the description below. And if you guys like to send me fan art, you guys can send me fan art on my Instagram. My Instagram will be the second link in the description below. And if you guys would join and if you guys would like to join my Roblox fan group, my Roblox fan group will be the first link in the description below. And if you guys would follow me on Twitter, my Twitter will be the fourth link in the description below. And if you guys would like to follow me on Reddit, my Reddit will be the fifth link in the description below. And if you guys would like to follow me on TikTok, my TikTok will be the sixth link in the description below. And if you guys would like to and if you guys would like to check out my Facebook page, my Facebook page will be the seventh link in the description below. And until then I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.